All right, guys, I'm doing a quick puppy school. They completely trashed their house. I had to use wrapping paper for paper because I didn't have any paper. <laughs> I don't have any newspaper. I was actually thinking, can I go back out and find some? People buy up all the Sunday paper. Anyway, I'm going to just do a little bit with them. And then we got to get to bed early because we got to be at Dr. Castro's time. I had to run around all day today, but my lawn guy. Oh, oh hi, Lorenzo. Anyway, I gotta go to Dr. Castro's. I had to use uh, wrapping paper for paper because I don't have any newspaper. It's just so annoying having to try to spread these little ads out. Then I start looking at the little ads. Then I start thinking I need to buy all this stuff. Oh! Okay, hang on, let me get a little light in here. I was actually gonna go to bed, but then I said, no. Oh, I'll just do a little puppy school. You little peanuts, they're beyond cute. I said, my mother's like, oh, but cuter than the ones in the paper here. <laughs> okay, first off, those are $500 labs, mother. <laughs> they don't even really understand. If she's watching, she's going, we understand. Get over yourself. <laughs> All right, so if you said, what do I have? I do have chicken. You don't. You, you people end up being boring. I'm telling you right now, I'll tell somebody to get a certain kind of treats. I won't see them for five years. They're still getting the same damn thing. But you've got to just be, the, the puppy's got to be Sanders. This just gets better and better, you know? It's like, oh, remember when we went to Norwoods, Lorenzo? Didn't we get that crab appetizer thing? Anyway, it was the greatest thing ever. That crab and uh, shrimp thing. She said, what happened? Well, me and Brick went there the other night. I said, oh, what's the crab shrimp thing? Oh, we got rid of it. Got rid of it. Okay. I'm seeing a trend here with you people. Something I like, you're getting rid of it. It's very annoying. <laughs> All right, so I've got the little pan. Hang on. All right, you just, you want to add precursors to everything. They're, these puppies are to the point now. The way I get them in and out is I take the mother and I take her outside of me and that uh, opened the door and they ran out there to see the mother. Now they're to the point when I call the mother, when I say the name Misty, they understand that that's the precursor to the mother coming, to the door opening, to the pan banging, to the, do you see how far back they took the, oh hi Carlos. Anyway, that's how far back they took the precursor. Anyway, so I like to start very, Make them think, was it just me or did I hear something? You little peanuts! And then add the verbal. That's very loud right by the You little peanuts! Oh, oh no, we have to bottleneck. We have to bottleneck to get in. If you said you want, yeah, oh, absolutely. Following behavior, you know, it's it's behavior shaping it takes too long. Oh, you little pinetto, you little pinetto. You said, what are you giving it to me? Just existing. You know, you people make stuff real conditional. It's, it's almost unbelievable, Bill. I'm sure you see, I want you to let me know, Lorenzo. Every single person makes the dog sit. They make it wait for its food. Half of them don't even want the damn food. And so day in, day out, they're killing the engagement and jockeying themselves in the position of a jerk. I told somebody the equivalent of that is the dog standing next to you when you're getting ready to eat dinner, growling and snarling, and then sort of sort of backing off and letting you eat every day. <laughs> if you said I would be fine with that. Oh. Ah. All right, let me see if I can get him laying down. Look at this one studying me. You little peanut. So he said, how do you do it? I'm going to keep the chicken out of the way, but just the hands are kind of bent. Is one missing? Is there only five of them? Oh, no, there's six. Okay. Look at 
that little one. That's buttercrumbs. Look at it melt. You little melt delicious. That's why I call them buttercrumbs. That one's got the hiccups. That one's getting ready to go. Look at her. You little precious angel. He just waits for the cheese. That's the tell. You precious angel. Anyway, Sandy, that's yours. Now, it's going to all seem very unconditional. If you said, how does that not seem unconditional? You know, their actions leading it to reaction. They don't understand that I'm prompting the action with my subtle suggestion. <laughs> doing that a couple of years ago. I think I started doing that before crash. Your feet aren't moving at all. If you say, well, I'm the type that scoots my feet around a lot. Lorenzo, <laughs> listen to me. You need to figure out what you're doing. If you say, what am I saying? I'm saying I'm really fucking annoyed that when he was down here, he had to spend fucking 10 days looking for property. Now he has no intention of ever even moving here. And if they're moving back to Puerto Rico, you're better off to find a nice little place here. You travel back and forth, here and there. Pour a hurricane there, come here. Hurricane here, go there. You see? Yeah. If you say we want to keep a place on the mainland, yeah. Let's keep a place on the mainland. I mean, I wouldn't want to live in Jersey. I mean, you know, I don't know. I think it's kind of like a national, you know, like there was even a Seinfeld about it. They wanted to meet, they were going to pretend like they were tourists, so they would find some girls to let them stay at their apartment. They would act like they were like from, you know, Kansas or something, real bow hunky. And so then they did, they found these girls and they were saying, oh, we're from New York and everything. You know, they're still pretending like they were tourists. And then all of a sudden they're taking them to Jersey. And then they're like, you said you lived in New York. This is Jersey. Like, you know, somebody from out of town is not going to know the difference. But, you know, of course, maybe it was on Friends. Oh, it was. It was Maybe it was like uh, uh, Chandler and Joey or whatever. But, of course, you know, they knew all about, uh, you know, the difference between New Jersey and New York. And he was like trying to play like this corn fed farm boy, but then suddenly they're all like street savvy, all about New York and everything. Okay, hang on. Hey, Sandy, what are you doing?
so I'd like to sort of do a little... So again, so what, what do you want? Do you start saying, no, I don't want anything. I don't want anything. I just am an entity. <laughs> I'm an entity. I don't want anything. You're going to copy each other. Oops, uh oh. Oh my God. You little peanut. That was swift. All right, look, I'm sure I get this one, but these two to lay down and watch. That one just gave a tell. There's your tell right there. It's so obvious. Ouch. I said, you're worried about biting No, I'm giving the chicken to bite so me. <laughs> All right, watch. Well, he's going to lay down. Precious peanut, and this one already did it too. Just if you said, How did it know? It, the way it accepted the food, it was expecting the food. It was expecting the food. It's scary. It's scary. It was expecting it. It seemed like it was sort of just being placid, laying down. Oh, but it was really expecting the food. It was expecting it. Ooh, that's just it. You're there, Christina. I'm so glad you're so enamored of these videos. Because people never say anything. I think they're good, too. I mean, I think they're good as far as simply explaining things in a way that makes sense as best as I can. But if you said some people still don't do that now, they sit there and say, don't do it. They sit there and say, it doesn't work. I swear to God, girl, that one video, this guy... If you said, what about this Danny Wells? Because I don't even know where you found that video because it's from like a year ago. And if you said, what's happened since then? He killed his own personal dog by training it out in the fucking heat in the summer. And it had a heat stroke and died. Then he got another dog that supposedly bit 33 people. Whoever even heard of something that much bullshit bit 33. If a dog bit three people, come on. If he said, then what? Then he's training it all wrong on video. All wrong, sitting there rubbing on it, doing all this stuff. It was getting mad. I mean, he didn't see any of this coming. Playing tug of war with it, all this stuff. And he said, they're jerking it on a choke chain. If he said, what happened? It turned on him. Pretty much. Pretty much. Turned on him and ate his ass up. Hospital bites, everything else. So that video was before all that stuff happened. So, who's wrong? Me or this guy? <laughs> he is good, though. If I think anyone with an accent, I understand that. Now, my British friends find me very droll. If you say, why? Because anybody... Uh, uh, that was just a... That was just a... Anybody with an accent, I just give them more credit for some reason. so funny about it. He's expecting it. Oh, you little monkey little. Oh, you little precious monkey. I don't want to. He wants to jockey to a certain place and lay down. He wants to go. Oh, you little peanut. You little peanut. Which one was that? You little precious, and you, and this one is the most precious. It's just, just it, which is very good. If you said, you know, what you do, what people do is create a little microcosm where every single day they say sit, you're not getting your fit until you sit. If you said, what does that make you? A freaking jerk. <sighs> That's all. Awesome. I've made video after video. I sit there and tell people, I'm not just making this up for you. I can show you a video from two years ago saying it. So why did you just give that one? I was just distracted. That was the tell. Listen, you little pudge worthy. Your hands.
hands have got to be very clean. If you say, no, I insist on rubbing the head after every treatment, good luck with that. That's all I can say is good luck with that. They're not going to stay around for that. All right, watch. So my eyes go, ooh. He's just winked at me. Coincidence, but it's not. You precious little monkey. That's yours, Mick. Anyway, uh, Kendall, and there's Chili on the big screen. If you said you were coughing, I know. Get ready for bed. <laughs> I was getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> and then I said, oh, it's too puppy training. I don't watch it. Probably. Listen, you little Miss Peanut. It's something called a default down. If you said, oops, uh -oh. if you said, why do they do it? Yeah, I mean, they're looking for success. I mean, look, why wouldn't they be? They're looking for things that work. That's their agenda. If you said, no, they want corrections. Listen, blippos. Look how big they are. trying to copy, if it's trying to copy, what else does that look like? I mean, you know. Ooh, spooky music. But, you know, there, what, what else, is, who doesn't copy? That's what I try to tell my mom. I say, everybody copies, they got Pinterest. Copying is all the rage. There's nothing else, no other way to figure stuff out without copying what you see. If you said, well, it's a modified version, it, it is, but that dog Barkley, I'm posting a video of that one right now. I found an old video of when it first came. If you said, it took off all the effing time. You couldn't turn around. It was just gone. It was just gone. Just take off. You said, what did you do? Who knows? If you said what, well, it was a bullet at the end. And for me to say that's one thing, but if you said you have videos, no, I have video for it. It was a bullet. It was so enamored of me. Oh, Shisty. <laughs> Shisty, don't you be so entitled, Shisty. You precious little princess. <laughs> Tell. Precious, perfectly mannered little puppies. When people say, oh, manners, oh, there's manners. Here's some manners. That was providing light. That was providing light. said I don't have introspective body language. I'm more like an octopus. I just keep reaching for the dog. Keep touching its head. <laughs> God, kill me now. Uh, look, this one's already yawning. She said, 
It's a good way of doing it, you see? Oh, it's the way you just... I got, I got what I deserved. I got the special prizes. <laughs> oh, you little chin rester. You wink, Dabby. saw that, Christine. Yeah, I'm so glad you're such a fan. Please make sure and hit love on all the videos. If you said, what does that do? I don't know. I'm kind of underground. I mean, I, can't, I go on these chat boards and I understand these people that are these big phony baloney trainers go on these chat boards and suck all these people in. If you said you do, I go on there, but they kick me off after the first day. I'm too radical. <laughs> According to these people, I'm too radical. If you say, what do you mean you launch attacks on them? Yeah, I do. I do. I launch vicious attacks. Listen, you little chin rester. Oh, you're so perfect and precious. Oh, I love you. All right, Chester, I want you to show your mother how you know what to do. That was the tell. Angel. Uh, uh, they don't even really, if you said it knows it's that you see this tail, it doesn't even know what a tail is. It doesn't know I see this tail. Uh, it knows no such thing. Oh, you little cuddle bugs. Your mom is a precious little cuddle bugs. Anyway, so I've worked at this only for not very long. I mean, not even a week. I've probably been working on it for five days. If you said, oh, they're all trained. They're not all trained, but I mean. You, they've set their internal dialogue is, I see what works. Oh, hi, Tony. Oh, my God, they're beyond cute. I don't know. Let me grab Just do a little if I'm coming back. I guess. <laughs> so now I'm back. The whole sequence is most dogs are right. Oh, it's just when we come in, but after 10 minutes, it settles down. do it and then they stop if you said how is that more than a tell they really were gonna do it but then something happened if you said what do you mean well they started to lay down and but then you know now there's a loud noise or something or they changed their mind I just it's called an, I just call it a false start oh <laughs> listen steal delicious just just watch he's just gonna say oh my treat <laughs> just like the way he does it Beyond cute. Oh, my treat. My treat's ready. Uh, uh. What else would do? You little beat Still not too bad. It's a 100 million. Oh, that one's asleep. All right, watch. Thank you. 
That's the first time I've ever done a whole river to fall down. I'll try to get up early and do work again again. I just think about it. It's just so stressful getting the wall over here. If you said that they like to go. No, they don't like to go. Justin. Justin. Your tree's ready, Justin. <laughs> But I, I'm trying to keep it darker. So they go to sleep. They're good though. They don't, I mean, they don't make that much for us. I just take the leftover wrapping paper. If you said, what did I think? I was trying to think, do I have any leftover from last year that I can use? <laughs> the news journal is so thin. It's, Jesus, five pages. Listen, you little biter. Oh, you little peanut. All right, watch. That's a false start. That's a false start. It's bigger than a tell. Ah, he got lucky. The paper slipped. <laughs> this, la this wrapping paper is slippery. <laughs> he slid. <laughs> Shows how patient they're actually being. He's really sitting there just watching me so intently. Oh, Jesus. Ah. This one's conked out. Anyway, they've been sleeping under here, but I kind of just keeping this out because I was really asleep, but they've been kind of going in there. Let's just crash out. All right, let me see if I can get this one. Oh, he's just in. <laughs> oh, he just knows he deserves. So that's what you need to do at home. If you said, oh, I like it. If you said, what kind of, I like a dog in the house that just lays there. And he's good. You said, what about outside? Yes, it runs around outside. But in the house. Post more that I'm gonna do a whole series on that Barkley. I just stumbled on this old video of him. If you say every two seconds, it was taking off, taking off. <laughs> There's no other way to train one like that. You're not gonna use a long line. It took me months to get it with electric. I mean, I got it going right away, but I mean, to make sure, I mean, to get it where I got it. If you said, what if you didn't have that collar? You never get that result. You could not scientifically install that behavior. You just couldn't. It just wouldn't be possible. Listen, don't you bite her.
looking for you're gonna do whatever behavior leads to success the reason everyone jumps up on people is because the people have great big reactions and they start rubbing them and Samson's owner, I mean, just, uh, just, just, just how everybody is, so they just can't not do it. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to go to bed, and I'm going to get them up there early in the morning. Oh, listen, you little chopper. Oh, the price is juicy. It, it seems like a coincidence, but... If you can piece it all together, that's so much. That's so much. Anyway, I can work on the deliver to hand later, but I kind of just got on that thread of doing that, and... It works with older dogs. I mean, why wouldn't it work with puppies? If you said, why wouldn't it work? I mean, they're a little bit, they're less aware, but because I've been so delicate and deliberate, they're speaking this fluent language even so young. You little peanuts. Okay. All right, I gotta get the ball out of here. So you're not making them wait for the food. If you say, I need to build engagement. I don't have a single friend on the planet or celebrate a single holiday that there isn't food involved. And there's nobody saying sit, wait, whatever. If you said if there was, you'd gravitate away from those people. For sure. The fact that people systemically kill off. To, oh, it's all excited about it. food. We shut that shit down. Day after day after day. And we say, listen here, dog. You're not going to get any food until we I tell people, unless you can do a remote sit at 250 yards, don't start a sit. Because where are you going with it? If you are the antidote to motion, there's a reason kids go running out of the school. What was that Alice Cooper saying? School's out. Building excitement all the time around the food. Get a little bit, let's get all excited about the food. We celebrate every day together. We're best friends. We celebrate the food every day together. We're best friends. It's a big party. So you're able to glean animation on a daily basis. I, I don't, you know, if you say, what about those, those two big labs that I have? Well, really those three, those three that I had in the picture. Them, I don't. I don't have to add any animation to their feeding. I don't try to shut anything down, but I just make it as uh, institutional as possible. <laughs> you know, just give them the food. It just takes them two seconds to eat it anyway. So, you know, there's, if you said, what about like that one banjo that didn't have any food drive? I'll tell you what, it was a damn celebration. Ever, I fed that thing six times a day. If you said, what, oh, little dabs, this canned food, that canned food, McDonald's cheeseburger. That was a big party every goddamn day. Every time we were together, it was a big party where we were best friends. So, yeah, that's how you're looking at it. You're not trying to kid yourself that saying, sit, wait, don't act excited about eating. <laughs> what are you going to be act excited about? You know what I mean? Why would you act to, if somebody, if I went out to eat with them and they had like a bunch of weird eating habits. If you said, what about you and your friends? We eat like Vikings. We're like, grog, more grog. <laughs> Bring more beer. <laughs> I have like beer, Coke, all those appetizers. Bring us more bread. If I had somebody that was just like all weird and uh, I'm going to need you to wait or anything about, you know, I'd say, yeah. If you said, should they all shove in that little bowl? 
There's usually dry food in there. They're just doing that because it's something new. Plus, I, I got to get in the trifecta, so I have to make sure I eat. Anyway, guys, that's where we're at. And you've seen the deliver to hand. That's the things I've worked on. I did the deliver to hand. I started with the default down, but I work on the recall too. I don't let them in or let them out without doing that banging. And if you said, well, that's just elevating them to a certain physiological state because they believe that that's a precursor to food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anything that lives hand to mouth, you're going to be able to exploit food drive. He's all about people that children to Jesus. And be food to feed his kids. I freaking overpaid him because he didn't have any food to feed his kids. So if you said he was, yeah, he was motivated, I mean, you don't food, you know? <laughs> you don't have any food, you got hungry kids. So, yeah. You have little peanuts. Yeah, but they're very... My body language is so introspective. They're trying to mind me for clothes. All right, hang on. Oh, hang on. They're not here. Internal dialogue. It just, it just gets better and better. God, can this get any better? It just gets better and better. It's unbelievable. It just gets better and better. So if they're very familiar with the sound of these little, look, here they come, these little watches. Oh, they're all going to do it. Little peanut, she puts it right in my hand, too. You little peanuts. Anyway, I made some videos and stuff. I just have, I'm just going through all my retro videos and um, re-editing them. Like you said, there, there are some good ones. I mean, I forgot all about them. Because I say, here's your mother. Here's your mother, mother, mother. Here's your mother, mother. You said if it did work, but then I'd lose my voice. I wouldn't be able to say it anymore. And if they're far away, I really couldn't say it. You saw how it affected them, though. Here's your mother, mother, mother. And I would say that as the precursor before I put the mother in. If you said when, as soon as they could hear. And I, I tell that story. I mean, that's what saved the movie Molly and me. When I can't think what was that director's name. Uh, David Frankel. David Frankel. He's very famous director. He goes, okay, we want all the puppies up by the fence now. If you said what they say there. <laughs> if you said what did I say? I said, here's your mother. And they all get one of them. If you said that everyone was looking at you. Who cares? I'm so stressed out. I didn't care. Oh my god, she put it right in my hand. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, she's the star. Oh. She didn't give them a chance.
He said, what does a false start indicate? It almost always indicates they they do it with like they start to run towards somebody and then they stop. They start to run towards somebody and they stop. If you said, what is it? They're usually gonna go. <laughs> They're just gonna go. It usually doesn't mean it's I mean it's not a salty point. If you said you wouldn't want it in any aspect, not really. I mean, if you said would you want a false start to your commands, I said, hell no. That's why the pager helps. You're not getting false starts. If you said, well, on your sendaways, if you said there's never been a case of a dog false starting on a sendaway, <laughs> Jesus Christ, every day. Okay, I can try to do two at once. You little peanut. You can't say it isn't putting it right in me. The level of consciousness. You know, and if I'm the only person on the planet saying, don't rub their head, well, I don't let people do it. If you say, what about, I can't control when they go home, but... I'm, I'm not making, if there was a certain way to rub their head to make them more engaged, I would do it. This one just watches. They're so chunky. This one just wagging his tail. <laughs> You're not supposed to lay down and do it. Do you want that dialogue? Me too. It kind of freaked me out that because Misty's out in the garage, I have to call her through the house to go through here, and then I take her out there, and then I let them out. But as soon as I said Misty, because I say Misty, I get Misty there, I bang the pan, and then I go out, and then I do. And as soon as I said Misty, they jumped up. I said, Oh my God. I'm gonna try to get up early and do like a couple videos. You precious little angels. start tugging. Oh God, no. Oh God, no. You can't play tug with this methodology. If you say, well, these people are weak handlers anyway. They don't get any weaker. Just, these people have no, I don't even have any game. Oh yeah. These people say, I don't know what I'm doing. If as according to all these trainers, I don't know what I'm doing, then your average person won't have a shot in hell. If I don't have a clue what I'm doing with this much experience with dogs. Yet I still don't have any idea what's going on. Somebody just had three or four dogs in a clinic. <laughs> They're not going to have a shot in hell. Just put it on my hand. She's watching my hand. Well, you better hurry. got to pull your hand away though. If you said, I like pointing, yet, it's not going to work. It's, it's the, if you said, it works on any dog. I've got people that don't, that have never met me in person that have only done this from watching the videos. Look at Lorenzo. He never saw it before in his life. Two seconds later, he already had it done. Now his clients are even doing it. Laura got her dog doing it. These are just 
average people with average dogs. I mean, they're not buying, you know, a dog to win the national championship. It's just a regular dog. If you say, what are they waiting for? Something to fall. So I don't get anything done. They're so cute. Anyway, uh, I'm going to the vet first thing in the morning. I already dropped all the stool samples and got all the stuff for the health certificates. All the stuff. I have to go visit my aunt at the nursing home and run all over town. Oh, God, it was awful. If you said, what did I say? I'm never leaving my house again. I'll have everything delivered. <laughs> I'll never leave my house again. After Christmas Eve at Walmart, every single aisle, I was starting to say, I mean, I'm not like some, you know, like I used to be. I'd had no self-esteem when I was younger, but if I didn't have any self-esteem, I would think there was something wrong with me at Walmart. Every aisle, everybody's giving me dirty looks like I was in their way because I was like trying to browse. And then some freaking meth addict that was shopping with his mother says, oh, tries to like confront me. I stared him dead in the eye. He said he, back, he did back down. If he said, oh, I was about to say, listen, Method, you, I understand you're shopping here with your mother because you don't have any money. You probably live with your mother. <sighs> he could see that was right on the tip of my tongue. He, bet he stood down. I have time for these people. I thought at the grocery store, some entitled person getting in anyone's way. I can't help it if my cart's full. <laughs> but I was like, everybody... It was like every single person was like so disgusted because I was in their way. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, just making all these noises, rolling their eyes, doing all this stuff. <laughs> and if you said the aisles, the aisles aren't skinny there. The aisles are big. Sure, they might have had to weave a little bit, but... People sit there and say they get road rage at the grocery store. I'm like, oh my God, they don't have grocery stores in Syria. You need to get a grip. <laughs> you need to get a grip. Anytime things are ever going bad, I try to help people understand. It can always be worse. You could live in Syria. <laughs> By the grace of God, you're born in the West. That's what I say. All right, you guys, I'll be back to let me try to do some videos. But it's very exciting work, and it is... It involves an introspective body language. And if you said, that's not what's making a difference. Yes, it is. And if you said, explain why, give it to me in a nutshell. Physiologically, touch to them doesn't mean love. It doesn't. They have no basis for it. If she said, well, the other ones bite their ears. And, oh, I saw it pulling on the other one, biting and all that. Exactly. That doesn't mean love. If you said, if they were in the wild, hugging and loving would be crucial. Hugging, love, and crucial. They're saying, don't come up behind me. Don't touch me, mofo. If you said, boy, would you act like you know about training wild animals? Maybe I do know a little bit about training wild animals. I have a piano playing pig, you know. If you, where do you think that pig came from? If you said, it came from the freaking woods. It's a piney rooter. It's, it's not a pot-bellied pig. People sit there and say, pot-bellied pig. I'm like, pot-bellied pig? It's a freaking... Look at it, it's a piney rooter pig. It's a piney rooter pig. I'm sure it's a little chunky for a piney rooter. You see them though, if, you're, if you've ever been to Florida, I mean, it's been about a year ago, but I was driving on 95. There was a whole little herd of them by the side of the interstate. If you said, you know, is he rooting up, you know, rooting stuff up, that's what they do. They can sit there and just demolish. They have like old TV shows, hog wild and everything. These people do nothing but hunt hogs. And if you said that's what, yes, that's what Pimple is. She's one of those. The father was captured by some hunters. 
And then they supposedly ate it or something. I so help me God. So we got all Temple's other relatives. They're all gone. That girl ended up living on that property. She's renting it. And then it, that was like back in the housing boom. And whoever owned the house just let it go back to the bank. And this girl just kept living there and just scheming and just not wanting to really toe the line, pay your way. Had all these animals. You know, if I wanted to be a jerk, I could have reported her because it was just like too much. It was just like a hot mess and she had this like freaking sex offender husband I swear to god I'm not making this up like a real creeper and the property ended up they ended up living there for years and years and years holes in the roof everything else from hurricane and then the property ended up finally the, finally the bank came and took it and somebody they all the animals people came and took all the animals and the house went back to the bank if you said why does it look like it because of that little noise that it makes it makes it alive it gives it life because if it is sitting still. That's what happened the other day. It was sitting still and then just like one of the little beads or whatever must have just rattled on its own and it made it alive. So I tell, I tell people that you've got to use dead objects for this. If you said, well, you're dropping it in there. I am dropping it in there, but I'm not waving it around. I'm not scooting it around. I'm not trying to make it alive. Once it drops in there, it's dead. You know, but it's kind of alive with these because of that little noise. And these are good. I mean, I specifically went and got these watches. All right, that was the way we might have enough for one more time. No, well, you need to all go to bed anyway. So, but you can see, I could have come in here, rubbed the heads. They'd be all biting on me. Yeah. I could be shaking toys around, build one of these little things where they have everything dangling down to teach the puppy to bite everything that dangles down. If you said, what, watch out for your vertical blinds. You put up one of these fucking things where you got puppies biting everything hanging down. If you said, you speak, oh, I'm speaking from experience. Oh, they'd love to get a hold of those vertical blinds and start, oh, them around. yeah, make a fun toy. Start pulling all of them down. It's a school of thought, and, you know, if anybody tried it, it's not like, well, people try it, and, oh, hi, Billy. They say, oh, hi, Al. They say, oh, it's not working for, not working for us. They say it's unbelievable. It's universal. If you said, what if you went to Romania? It doesn't matter. There's, there's nothing to do with words. I learned that from training deaf dogs. If you said you used to say it was the tone of voice, no, I don't know. I didn't because it always bothered me when people said that. Oh, my husband uses a deep tone and then it obeys. I, I'd say, listen, listen, you have to stop talking like that. Women make better trainers than men. Your husband and his deep voice, it's just scaring the dog and intimidating it. You know, <laughs> it's nothing to do with words. It's, if you're gonna speak body language, it's, it's going to have to be down to the pinky finger. If you said, well, that's not how they are. They're, they will curl their lip this much. That boxer will crinkle its, it's lip that much. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. If you said it expects the, yes, oh, it absolutely expects the other ones to see it. If you said if they foolishly don't see it, she escalates it. But if you said next time, they're more tuned into the micro... They're all about micro expressions. Some dogs are more expressive in the face than others. If you said that's true with people too. You know, that boxer, because it has all those wrinkles. It starts moving its face around. It's got all those muscles in his face. I thought it's tearing up the wrapping paper. 
uh, you know, it starts moving its face around, it's making all kind of 900 faces. All right, listen, I'm gonna go try to find some more newspaper. Uh, I will message you, I will post on the thing tomorrow when I'm driving home from the vets. So unless something comes up, just one time Dr. Castro's husband got sick in the middle of the night and she had to go to take him to the emergency room. And, you know, I don't want to just sit there and tell people. I just, this is how I am. No hurries, no worries. If for some reason I can't go there till Monday, then that's just what's going to happen. I just, I, I don't know. I, this is how I am now. I just, you know, that was, that was a couple years ago. But if you said then, you were just like, oh my God. But then I didn't want to be like some jerk, you know, someone's husband's in the emergency room. And I, oh, it's all about me. Who cares about your husband? I'm mean, going to be like that. And Ruben's watching. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I was in the emergency room. I don't remember what ended up happening. I think I just ended up like coming like way later in the day or something. Or I ended up coming the next morning or something. You know, but it was just like, you know, I mean, of course I'm just going to say, it's fine. You know, I'm not going to just sit there and go, I'm coming anyway. Where's this hospital? I'll just drive. <laughs> I mean, come on. All right, guys. I'll be back tomorrow.